Joe Goff and uh, Dusty Cunningham will, uh, their seniors, they'll be graduating, and there's, there's the a ball. fumble and a freshman mistake there. Look at this. And the ball is picked up, and it is recovered by number 13, Tim Lee, the cornerback for Hillsdale. And it'll be first and goal for the Chargers at the eight-yard line. Absolutely amazing. Brian Van Gorder is going to be very upset here. Here's the handoff right here. Come just flying out of the hands of the, the back. I'm going to say it's the back's fault. Not put, it doesn't make a difference whose fault it is at this point, folks. Well, you have two freshmen yes, exactly. on that exchange, and that is a freshman mistake, and that uh, does have a tendency to happen, unfortunately. And once again, for the second time this afternoon, in fact, Wayne State turns it over where Hillsdale gets it first and goal. Might have been looking at the defenders instead of securing the football. Young blood on the toss. And on the carry, it's Chris Judd, the tailback, and he carries it down to the five. Brian Van Gorder. He kind of, well, this is what, the growing process. It, what, what did the old baseball player say? I should have stood in bed. <laughs> but this you know thing happened. It's a, it's a growing process. Well, you know, I hope that Brian doesn't forget all the progress they have made with exactly, him. Exactly, exactly. Last week, and this is what's going to happen with the young team. We'll continue this after the play. Hand off to the big fullback, barreling Whoa. up the middle. And he runs the over end. the official. <laughs> Andrew Crawley. <laughs> he gets this. into the end zone, and boy, he barrels over some people. <laughs> Crowley barrels in and he carries all of 230 pounds on a five foot nine inch frame. He hails from Dowagiak, Michigan. Dowagiak. Dowagiak, and he almost ran it all the way back to Dowagiak. I've been there, I know. <laughs> Look at this. Knock over the umpire. Is he happy? <laughs> oh, absolutely. He doesn't get to see the ball that often. Exactly. And Doherty on to attempt the extra point. And once again, turning it over deep in the end. And being taken, and this is a good football team. They take advantage of mistakes time and time again. Let's get back and let's talk about, before we, before we talk about the Wayne State football, let's take a look at this touchdown, Pete. You think it's easy to be an official? Yeah, let's take You don't want to be an umpire. That's where the big guys exactly. are. Watch yeah, this. He's looking for the holding right now. He don't see the big guy coming. He sees him now, a little too, wait, <laughs> let me get out of the way here. Protects himself, that's a good job there. Evasive maneuvers on the part of the umpire. I'm getting out of here, folks. But let's talk about what occurred last week. They get a fumble against Ashland on the one yard line. They could have folded their tent, but they don't do this. They got a chance to win a football game, but they got to go 76 yards. Well, they accomplished all those things. After doing these games now six or seven years, Pete, we've seen many, many times when they lose games like that. Big stepping stone, big block underneath the foundation now that they go ahead and they win this game. They slide a little bit this week. They slide a little bit, get the big mole coming into homecoming, got the big team, the, the winningest team in Wayne State history back on campus, got a nice crowd here. They make a couple of mistakes, they lose the game. But still, they've never had a shot this late in the season to still be 500, which they can next week with a, a win over Michigan Tech. So the, the, there's definite progress in this football program. You got to walk before you can run. Absolutely. And they are taking steps under Brian Van Gorder. Gillard on the return, tripped up, and falls forward to the 20-yard line. As we take a look at the scoring drive, we use the word drive advisedly. Yes. This time it took him a little longer, two Just plays, place, yeah. to cover the eight yards. And Crawley gets six points and one official. Well, we said there's going to be scoring. We just didn't know that one team was going to score all the points. Take a look at the beautiful this is Detroit, why Michigan come skyline. to Detroit to watch football and play football here. Excellent. Hopefully Excellent a lot place. will. You want to play for Brian Van Gorder. If you can play ball, you want to come here and be a part of building this program. Hand off to Dustin Cunningham and he gets crushed and ridden down at the 20-yard line. Jason Cat making the stop there, and uh, in all likelihood, Joe Goff will uh, take a break. 
for the rest of the day. Once again, well over 100 yards. Career all-purpose yardage leader. And we'll build on that in the next two games. Every yard from now on is a new History. Wayne State record, absolutely. Pickup of one for Cunningham on the play. That'll bring up second and nine. Glusky on play action. And that one out of bounds, intended for Steve Zakowski. But again, the ball sail. Yeah, both quarterbacks are holding on to the ball too long before they throw the football. This is a wide open man. You've got to release it. Watch this. And here's a play where there's nobody in his face right now. Look at it. Right now, stop and throw the football. But no, he waits for the, the offense. He's out of bounds. I think a lot of people who don't watch a lot of football don't realize how important footwork is to a oh, quarterback. Absolutely. Time and time again. And he was not set when he threw that football. Glusky on the roll again. Better footwork this time. Yes. Jankowski catches it and knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. He got drilled by David Smith, but Zakowski hangs on for the first down. And they came right back to the same play because it was open. And that's a good call on the part exactly. of Wayne State because it's Everybody a learning involved. experience. Exactly. Come right back to it, right, Pete? And the thing is, you see, he's got a it looks like he's got a major league arm. This ball's thrown. Look at this, good arm. Square to shoulders a little bit better that time, and therefore you have a better result. First and 10 from the 37. The handoff, Gillert with a big hole up the middle. Gillert to midfield. Gillert still on his feet to the 43-yard line. Fumbled the ball again. There's a fumble. They'll unstack some bodies and figure out who has the ball following the 17-yard carry. Bill Jordan, the inside linebacker, number 46, recovers. Hillsdale recovers, and a flag thrown on the play. Probably an unsportsmanlike oh. conduct. And we talked about tempers flaring a little bit early, and Brian Van Gorder is going to get the explanation from the official. Somebody might be sitting out a game here. This is very frustrating for Wayne State because we talked at the top of the show, Skip, how even in some aspects these teams were, and I think we all expected a game to be a little, a little bit closer. closer than 49 to 9. Let's look at the tail end of the run and see. It's a personal foul on Wayne State. There you see the strip of the ball. The ball is on the ground. Jason Cat, number 96, gets the strip. I, I, I believe maybe something was said. Not, it wasn't a late hit. I think something was said to the official. Then it, then it should have been unsportsmanlike no. conduct. But they did call personal foul, so there must have been some contact. That's, okay. uh, in any event, it's a 15-yard penalty. Toss play goes to Chris Judd, getting an awful lot of work this afternoon. There's Joe Goff. He's through for the day. 25 carries, 121 yards. 4.8 average. That's not bad, but for Wayne State, yeah. not enough. Oh. Here's the we have a Hillsdale player down. We can't see his number. We'll be back with the rest of this afternoon's game after we take this break. 49-9, the Tartars trail. It's Dr. Murphy. Hi, doctor. How's the big guy doing? So much better, thanks. Can I talk to him? Sure, let me get him for you. Doctor. Hello? Hey, Matt. It's Dr. Murphy. Hi. Everything's OK. You can go back to school. Yeah. And you can play in the big game tomorrow. Mom, I can play. All right. Hello? At Health Alliance Plan, we know the best health care has a human touch. At Metro 25 Tire, get the lowest prices, highest mileage, and tires in 25 minutes, guaranteed. 
Here's the Uniroyal Tiger to show you more. You know, there should be a whole lot of road between you and your next set of tires. Uniroyal Tiger Paw Radials, sure-footed, mile after mile. Get warehouse prices up to 70% off from America's largest Uniroyal distributor, Metro 25 Tire. Call 1-800-METRO-25 for the dealer nearest you. At Wayne State University, our research is making a difference. We're finding better ways to introduce new technology into the workplace. We're learning exactly what consumers want, so products are in the right place at the right time. At Wayne State's Bioengineering Center, we're having an impact on automotive safety. We're investigating how severely alcohol affects your heart. We're studying ways to use art as therapy with abused children. At Wayne State University, you too can make a difference. Wayne State University. Call us. Back here in the fourth quarter, 49-9. Wayne State trailing. They scored the first touchdown of the game, but then after that, all Hillsdale. Second down and two. Boyd in motion to the far side. Hand off straight up the middle and a big hole. Oh. Back up running back through that hole is Gary Stiegel. Number 15, he carries for the Hillsdale first down. Let's go downstairs to Stanley Edwards. Well, it looks like this game is obviously out of hand with a little over, under two minutes to go. The Wayne State Tartars fought a value, and it was, it was looked like it was going to be a game early on. They have to rebound and bounce back. They cannot let this game linger on. You need to look at the game tape, find out what mistakes you've made, and get ready for next week's opponent. Yeah. Obviously, they're a very disappointed team, but Hillsdale's always been a tough opponent. But this game cannot linger no more than tomorrow. you got to get ready for next week. Back up there. Good point. Good point. You know something? I don't even know if you want to look at this game, Phil. Throw it away. Throw it away, and let's start in for next week. Jason Ross carries, and no gain. Perhaps he lost half a yard. Well, one of the things that Brian Van Gorder and I think everybody on the Wayne State team has to realize, they ran into a team that played, with the exception of the fumble on the quarterback sneak, pretty much air-free football. And when yes. you play a team that is playing at the peak of their game, and I think that's what we're seeing from Hillsdale, you have to play equally perfect as we come up on the two-minute mark here in the ballgame, or otherwise you're not going to win. And Wayne State with three turnovers this afternoon, it's kind of hard to win when you keep putting the ball on the ground. That is also correct. You got John Boyd, he's still on the field, number 21. He's had a, a very, very nice day. Andrew Crawley on the carry there, picking up a couple, we'll bring up third down and eight. Clock moves inside now of one and a half minutes to play. And Hillsdale will be very content to run out the clock and move to five and four overall, five and three in the conference. Look Skirting around in and breaking free is Stiegel and he scores for Hillsdale. Gary Stiegel into the end zone for the Chargers. Counter Trey again, he just follows the big lineman right around the corner. And there hasn't been much drop off skip in looking at the second team offensive line for Hillsdale. They have been every bit as good. No, it's just a big white, big force of white jerseys up there, knocking the green jerseys off the line of scrimmage. It's one of these days that happen. You run into teams like that, that are playing good football, they're hot, Everything seems to be going their way, and uh, you run into a storm. Doherty on to attempt the extra point. He has been perfect this afternoon. Going for his eighth point after on the day. It's up. It's good. 56 to 9, and uh, you're right, Skip. Wayne State may not want to look at the tapes, but they may want to burn them. Well, you know, so maybe I take that back, Peter. Uh, maybe they pull out some highlights of the good things that they've done yeah. and, and talk about those things rather than something like this. Stiegel just made an excellent cutback on the play and good outran the though. pursuit to the end zone. Good blocking. Good blocking and good running. As you take a look at the freshman Charlie Rogers on the left of your screen, he started today. There have uh, been some injuries in that defensive backfield. Rich Hamoud, we've really not seen him. And we want to thank our producer and director, Harry Hutt. We pushed all the right buttons this afternoon. He's our executive producer here on Tartar Football. I want to thank everybody here 
all the fine work. Ken Sands doing a great job with the audio. You heard all the heavy hitting, thanks to Ken's efforts this afternoon. 